Well, I think we already have a disaster in the works, okay? Uh, I think we're going to have to work closer with the city. The, the city has allowed several projects downtown to be built without them providing their own parking structures. We can't continue to take out parking spaces because of somebody else's agenda. We want to make downtown inviting to everybody. Bikes, cars, pickups, walkers, riders, whatever we, whatever we got to do. We shouldn't really have any more expansion to bring large numbers of people downtown unless we can accommodate the parking. There are other projects aside from the baseball stadium, but there is also a process by which we need to go through to establish the merit of those projects. And they have to all meet a criteria, a level, of does this one have the greatest economic impact for the money that we have available? And so we have not yet done that analysis of the baseball stadium. There may be all this talk, yes, but we haven't done the homework. The more positive an amenity can be in Boise, like a baseball stadium or a multi-purpose stadium, the more the word about Boise gets spread. And there are people that won't come to a town unless there is a baseball stadium. And I'd love to see more things be developed that will kind of fill in the outlying areas to make Boise a, a, a significant city. I do know that it is city owned, so it would be probably a similar aspect to the potential stadium here in Boise. And just what they've been able to maximize with their community involvement with their haunted house, um, movies, uh, ice skating rink. And so it would be a compliment to the Boise Center, another venue uh, that we could sell under GBAD's purview. So I really think that it, that community aspect is super important. And if you build it properly and you staff it properly, could really be an asset.